Hello Aries, this is your general reading for August 2018. Welcome to Truth Well Told Tarot. So here on the left hand side we have four cards. We have the Page of Pentacles, the Ten of Wands, the World and the Chariot. In the centre we have the Knight of Swords, representing the overarching theme of the month and the overarching energy. Top right hand corner is the Ace of Swords and the Five of Pentacles, representing romance, love and relationships. Bottom right hand corner is the career cards, the magician and the five of cups. Obviously the energies can intertwine and overflow and there's no set pattern to how the energies may happen during the month. So Aries, let's dive straight in. So looking at the Knight of Swords, the Knight of Swords is fast moving energy is quick progression so if there's um, a choice that you've been looking to make if there is uh, something that you've been waiting on in terms of finance career um, relationships for example things will start moving very quickly around the month of august the other thing that the sword energy represents is really cutting through the mist of distractions and diversions so you can really see a clear path in August so where you may have not really wanted to make a decision either way on your job um, career love life personal um, you know relationships with people this is the month where you can actually see things more clearly and that's what the sword energy does for you so looking on the right, left hand side, so the Page of Pentacles. The Page of Pentacles is a card where a new idea may be just beginning, um, a new opportunity to make money, um, a new relationship because it is general energies. And it really may mean the ability to actually stand on your own two feet. So there may be an entrepreneurial venture that you're looking into and wondering if it's got legs. Now the Ten of Wands, which the Page of Pentacles is next to, that represents burdens, something weighing heavy on your mind. It could be an emotional burden. It could also be to do with a relationship or concerns about a career or trying to get the next job um, and it might well be that because it's next to the page of pentacles what's happening is that you're working hard to make this a reality and it's stressful it's taken a lot out of you and it's a learning curve and this is represented in the chariot saying whatever you're going to venture into, personal relations, business relations, opportunities, that it will be successful. This is the balanced progress. So doing things practically and sometimes with the sword energy around it really is about paying attention to finer detail. So the Page of Pentacles can be quite mature, immature and you need the experience to make things a reality, which is why, you know, the Ten of Wands is saying you're working hard to make something a reality in the world that you're in. The Chariot is saying that that will be a victory for you. It will be successful as long as you approach everything with a balanced, practical point of view. It's like riding the crest of a wave. You move to the left or right, even by an inch, and you could fall under the waves. So it really is just having a clear direction, and that's what the Knight of Swords will give you this month, that clear direction to really achieve your goals and start putting them into practice. And the world... The world is worldly success, personal growth, 
really kind of like um, achieving the ultimate success that you could think of. So the fact that it's actually below the Page of Pentacles means that this idea is grounded. It has legs. And also this time of personal challenge, of burden, it isn't anything that you can, can't cope with. And also it's the end of a cycle. And the world also represents the end of a cycle and becoming a better version of you, Aries. It's what it's asking you to do is believe in yourself, believe in the ideas that you have, because they have merit. And certainly with the chariot being under the Ten of Wands, the other thing that I'm getting is that, yeah, there's been a kind of like a personal growth, a journey of personal growth, where you've really dug deep to actually start making this happen and making it a reality and a success. So this has been like a real personal journey for you in whatever aspect of life. Top right hand corner, love and relationships. So we have the five of pentacles. Now, the Five of Pentacles, this can be about instability, about being feeling left out in the cold. I don't know if you feel left out in the cold, if, if someone's making you feel left out in the cold Aries, if in your career, whether you're trying to achieve worldly success and you don't feel this is happening, or if you're trying to make a relationship successful and you keep trying to make that relationship successful and it doesn't seem to be materialising. What this Five of Pentacles is saying also is that the mother and son have their back to a church and they could easily go inside for shelter but they're not looking they don't turn around and look at the church. They're too preoccupied with feeling sorry for themselves, with self-pity, with personal burdens, for example, as in the Ten of, the ten of Wands. And it's saying that even though things may well look tough and bleak for you in a relationship, Maybe there's something that you're not quite seeing. And also, in terms of singles, is there somebody that you're friends with, that you've noticed in the coffee shop, and you've not considered a relationship with them or taking it to the next level because you're so preoccupied with... It could well be money with finances. You know, I did say these energies can intertwine. So it's just something to consider, to just take a fresh look at where you stand, Aries. Because if you do, the energies are saying that you'll be successful. That this relationship, that this love is divinely approved, it's divinely given to you. And you'll be victorious, it'll be a victorious relationship for you. You just need to get out of this mindset, of this mindset, and really look around with fresh eyes, with a new perspective and see it for what it is, because a new beginning is waiting for you. A fresh start is waiting for you. So if you decide that that relationship isn't worth continuing, the Knight of Swords will clarify that energy this month. And whichever way, you'll be happier for it and more 
victorious for it and successful. In terms of career, let's just look at the Five of Cups. Now, the Five of Cups is again not seeing what's right in front of you. And it can be about loss. It can be about heavy burdens, being preoccupied with what you've lost rather than what you have. And the tools that you have to make your life a success. And because this is below the Five of Pentacles, I'm just thinking, is your love life and your career intertwined? Because there could be some kind of like financial worry or loss that's preoccupying you. And you can't see the opportunities in front of you. But this also signifies hope, Aries. This signifies the fact that this man could walk across that bridge and go to his home and have personal security. So the energies are saying there is personal security on offer for you. You just have to turn around and see it. And this is ever more present in the wonderful card, which is the Magician. The Magician is basically saying to you, you have the tools to succeed. You have the tools to succeed in life on a personal level and also on a financial level, on a business level and on a career level. He has the sword, the cup, the pentacle, and also the wand. So he has all the earthly energies of earth, fire, air and water. In addition to that, his right hand points towards the heavens and his left hand points towards the earth. And he's manifesting the divine and earthly energies to deliver major transformation and this is you Aries and I find it interesting the fact that when you look at these two cards the chariot you've been on that personal journey you've had hardships with the ten of wands but you now have an idea it could be a business idea and the world is saying, you can be successful with this. You have all the tools you need to make your life successful. All you need is to turn around and look. It can be a state of mind. And what the sword energy does, the sword energy here, is give you that clarity, that clear path to see where you need to go. And again, the magician with the Ace of Swords above it, it means that you can be victorious. The energies are there, willing you to be victorious in every part of your life in August. The path is clear. All you need to do is see it. And the other thing that I'm getting certainly because of this personal journey of enlightenment with the world. It really is, you've become a better you from this journey. You've gone through, you've put in all the hard work. You've got an idea. You know, you can make this a reality. And the sword energy and the chariot represents forward moving growth. So Aries, you can take all your passion and creativity and make it a reality. You can look at that relationship and decide if you want it to be a success or not, or which path is right for you. But the month of August is a turning point. And it's also a point 
where you need to believe in yourself, Aries. You need to believe that you can do it because the universe believes that you can do it. You have completion cards here, the Ten of Wands, the world, new beginnings with the Ace of Swords, victory with the Chariot, major manifestation with the Magician. So even though you've been on your own personal journey of enlightenment, you know, in, in your personal relationship and also your business one, now's the time to really believe in yourself. The path is clear. The energies are, are with you in August to really help see your future in a whole new light. And you've got the protection of the universe. You know, this laurel wreath is a protective energy around the world. The hand of the divine with the Ace of Swords is a protective energy. The energy from the heavens helping you manifest with the magician. All of this is really coming together to say to you, take a close look now at what you need to do on a personal front and on a career front because this month you will decide and you will begin to believe in yourself and see yourself as the new you. All right, Aries, I think that's everything. I hope it resonates for some of you. If you found it resonates, please do like, share and subscribe. And I hope it's a great month and I'll see you next time. Thank you, bye-bye.